Hello, my name is Michael. I am the CEO, editor, and DM of the show that you are currently listening to, known as The Bystanders. As always, I want to give a huge shout out to both Gwyn and Shady Cicada. They are wonderful, talented musical artists who have allowed us to use their music for our little project, this little podcast of ours. So please, go subscribe to them. Uh, If you don't subscribe to them, I'll be forced to remove your brains and replace them with something that is definitely not a good substitute for a human brain. And that would be kind of cringe. And with all that out of the way, we can begin this week's episode. Laughter is the best medicine. If he tells a joke and you laugh, it heals. I could always play Hayden on Slipknot, so. I would. I will do everything in my power to make sure that does not happen. Okay, sounds good. Roll a charisma save to prevent hanging yourself. That's the main mechanic of the campaign. <laughs> actually, it's actually, it's actually. Welcome to bystanders. No, it's ability. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's ability. It's ability is another joke. It's called high stakes, and every living being has its gravity deleted in a, in a certain radius. It's called high stakes. That seems awfully similar to OK Go. Anyway, um, I made it. Like, I made it like a year, like a year and a half ago. Well, well before this happened. Okay. So, uh, we've taken a bit of a break. We've eaten some pizza. We've ao a pizza here. Um, and our ears did I'm burn. I'm still eating the pizza. I'd like, Sexy. I'd like to think it, what happens is everyone thinks they're upside down. That's what the ability is. And you, like, think you're walking on the... I don't know what... Sorry. Anyway. So, it's motion sickness. Kind of. Yo, mama. Anyways. So, it's your <laughs> ability. <laughs> what are you trying fellas. to say? Fellas. Anyways. Fellas. That's all. Ooh. Ba, 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 ba. That was the most sexy thing I've ever seen on one of those soundboards. What Watch are me do something. Waveform. Waveform. That's a waveform. Waveform display. Okay. Gangster. Okay. So, I tried to throw a marker up in the air and catch it, and I just clapped my hands and watched it fall into my crotch. So, back to bystanders. You all Stop arrived at the remains of base 10. We've floors. busted in with Destroyed. a truck full of grapes, and by that I mean we've, we've walked in. Bussing in, bussies out, you're chilling. What is a bussy? A bu- uh, we're not explaining this on recording. I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> so I don't remember that Steve part of the talk. Steve knows a bussy. Yeah, I was going to say you've had that part of the talk. Okay. Um... It was part of the supplementary so, talk that Gaming gave them you afterwards. You see, when a man and a femboy really love each other... It is... Oh, oh God! It's, it's a racial feature for femboys. They become a femman. <laughs> Cheers on <all> the <laughs> Anyway. You're becoming a young femman now. All right. This is the worst bit I may have ever heard in my life. <laughs> I completely agree, and I've heard about the comic with a large spoon. So, you ah, all... That's a great bit. What are you talking are about? ...are here at the remains of Base 10. Um... <sighs> Do you have a plan no. to call... You said you all want to call Clementine. Can I page him? And see what's going on. Do you... It's a burner phone, not a burner page. I have a flip well phone. I can... We, have, can the we have the burner phone. Oh, yeah, the have burner phone. phone. We have a burner phone for the exact reason. That's right. I forgot. You people. Please don't page it. Please don't page <laughs> Lieutenant Clementine. <laughs> I, I, can, you, can I send a dick pic through a pager? Can I use ASCII uh, text to send a dick pic? <laughs> roll for it. An, an it's a burner phone. We can... Roll on, Um. We are going to die. Because an ASCII dick pic is a We are going to die. 22. Immediately, uh, you get a response. It is composed of what the fuck in all lowercase. <laughs> case. <laughs> what You've the said, fuck? Period. Did he just yeah. send, did, he, did he just send a kind of kind of a dick pic through pager? Through ASCII he, text. ASCII. So it's probably not even decipherable. Does he know who it's from? Donovan. What? I, probably not. Probably not. His response was, what the fuck? <laughs> Do- Donovan grabs Damien by the collar, brings him down to his face. Damien is chuckling. He's very proud of himself. Think, Damien! Think! Dam- Damien? I-, I thought it was really important. We have to get him mentally s- destabilized. I think you just pissed him off. It's if you, fine. If he it doesn't know who sent it, then is it really I'm, that bad? You see I'm it mentally appears, destabilized. Who is this? Who is sending me ASCII dick pics? That's the message. <laughs> uh, Damien I- doesn't respond. <laughs> Either don't it. Secret admirer. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Ugly. U G L I. Yeah. Oh no, we're going to die. <laughs> you see, he, said, he says this in sense. He says this in character. What's an ellipsis? Three, Three dots. dots. Periods. I think, you know, honestly. Okay, you can call him now. No, I think the damage has been done. <laughs> well, no, but we have to meet with him. I'll call him. Agent Ugly, I trusted that you would use this phone for important reasons. <laughs> I didn't say 
phone. Oh my god! Oh my god! He believed it. Oh my god! He that believed worked. It. Well, they're all anonymous numbers. Yeah. Damien, do you want to explain what? Never mind. You know what? It's working. Roll with it. Meet me at the Arrow House tonight, BB. Yeah, meet meet tonight at ten, baby. But Base like, ten, not ten it's, p.m. What it's the, the l- fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Stop sending me this shit. It's the number two I'll see you in, in a few hours. hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did it! There is, did you say a few hours? Yeah. There yeah. is no way that just worked. <laughs> it is... It is the, it's the you would be C. surprised. I am. It I is. am surprised. Agent Dougley did seem pretty skeptical, and he had porn open on his computer. He did. It is the letter C, the letter U, the number two, N I T E, B B. You know. You know well, you, well, you know what? I think Ugly will be the type of guy to send you an NSFW link at work, and then report. <laughs> and, and then report you for clicking on it. <laughs> A test, a te- a test of will, and you. It failed. was a test, but also, did you like it? <laughs> Rate my porn. I'm anyway. trying to see if I'm normal. <laughs> you know how Steve did that thing to Brenda? Can he do that to himself, please? Is it suicide? Because I encourage it. Anyway. Okay. Hey. All right. That came I'm out. Sorry. Of- <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was about to I'm quote sorry. It. You're, you've, you've, you've sealed your fate, fam. Okay, well, this is getting quoted. Join our Discord server and get wonderful out-of-context quotes from me and Kylie. What's some notable quotes while we're on the topic? Um, we've we've got uh, Women are Gangster from Donovan. Classic, a classic, a classic. Um, I've said, can I be your child? There's no Asia from do, me and clear no, distress. No, is do one of my favorite. quotes. Um, does Nutella make shit fuckable? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ah! I don't know what that means, but it really hurt. Okay, so you all are waiting there for Clementine. Do you yeah. have a plan? Or are you just going to sit there a few hours? Let's we see. should probably not be out in the open when he arrives. That sounds like surprised by us, our presence. Because it does what seem to have surra- that was ugly. What's in the surroundings? Well, the uh-huh. remains of base 10. Right. <laughs> so the remains of base 10. Is it just like in a like lawn or what? So base 10 is a building. It's two stories tall. You got your one story. goes up. And then you got the second story, which kind of covers like a little bit of it. It's that kind of city structure where it's an L shape. Yeah. Vertically. Yeah, because we did give them the L. But in terms of the surroundings, is it just like grass? Or yeah, what? there's a not super well maintained yeah. parking lot. It's on the very, very edge of the city. There's so grass there's like behind it. Long grass. I thought we snuck in. <gasps> All right. Maybe we can hide inside the building until he gets here and then spring him or something like that. Sounds like a great idea. I'm going to uh, use my gunchucks. I, I think will we also should... Donovan. Yes. Are you able to create constructs that are roughly human height? Yeah. Because you could make a silhouette of ugly. I, I was I, I was considering that. I have another suggestion. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, Rose, are you capable of dissipating your sand but keeping the sugar? What do you mean? Like the sugar doesn't go anywhere when you dissipate your sand, right? Yeah, because we could just leave it out in the grass as like a trap, and when he wor- when he walks in, reform it and like grab him on top of him. That of course implies the idea that he's going to walk in from the grass. Well, we could leave it everywhere. Oh, okay. Rose kind of thinks for a second, and he's like, I can, "Yeah, I could, I could definitely do that." Cool. Keep like, in just mind, spread it out as a trap, and then yes. keep in mind it's not really going to appear as sugar granules because it is. The sugar was found in a more liquid form. Right. Right. Even better. In the form of... So it would be really more of a syrup that we'd spread everywhere. And then later I'd be able to summon it as kind of a sediment. Even better. So that would work. Mm. Sounds good. Good. So I could make... I could make the... uh, I could make a construct... Wait, no. Actually, no. He can't. It's misting outside. It's too wet. Ah. He can't leave the sugar outside or it'll dissolve. Right. Or it'll get carried away. Never mind. The misting will help at a uh, light level. I could probably make a contract that would last a good deal. I don't know if I could set it up right. I'd have to set it up, like, a few minutes before he arrived, which would be very risky. I, w- I would like to set up a possible um, ranged attack from a different building uh, as a reaction if he tries anything with back and black, because I have range types. Mm-hmm. Sure. <clears throat> So, uh, um, I could prepare my gun checks. In terms of other buildings, there are some, like, pretty empty... Areas. It looks like there were some sort of apartments nearby that were that, that have just been basically abandoned. Uh, there's like a parking garage that has a couple of cars in it, um, and there's a billboard um, for Doctor Smiley's sugar toothpaste. Right. So, 
I remember so, that. Those are the kind of building areas around. And there's also a parking lot that's uh, not super intact. Hmm. Do you look like you have you look like you're you have a planning face. What are you plotting? You're plotting something. That's the Kyler plotting face. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate that you recognize that. That should be the name of the episode. I was thinking of um uh, hmm, I don't really want to say it on recording because I kinda wish it was a surprise. Okay, okay. if you want to keep it a surprise, that's fine. Hayden. Me. Um yes. what's up? <clears throat> so in terms of where is the street, or like, I guess, oh, I, presumably he'd be coming in from the parking lot, right? Yeah, it's a road that leads in kind of from the edge of town. So in terms of the actual setup, um, the parking lot, there's the building right next to it, the field with all the grass, billboard is right next to the building, and then the buildings are like on either side of the road. Okay. That it goes in. I see. The parking garage and the abandoned apartment. All right, so... I think our best bet is to just all of us in our own way set up an ambush and kind of ensure that there's no way for him to get out, right? I'm going to make my way up to the roof. Okay. Uh, Damien, you make your way up to the roof. Do you want to bring anybody else? Uh, yeah, does anyone else want to go up to the roof? To the roof. It's pretty um, easy to get you up there with my ability. Rose would probably want to go as well. Okay. Because, you know, his stand, he's going to have to keep his stand intact in order for it to not dissolve. Yeah, well, this is the first time I've had a practical use for this umbrella. I'm going to have... I'm going to have Master Puppet readied on anything that's overhanging, like... The where, there's, where there's shadows. Steve's going to stick with Donovan. Uh, on, it's going to be ready I, like, on, like, on a ceiling lower so level. That, yeah, like, uh, Donovan is down. still looking around for the best, like, spot to, like, place a silhouette. Uh, ugly. He's also trying to remember exactly what a uh, ugly looked like. Okay. Um. Make a. Uh, it's gonna be an intelligence roll at some point. Of right. Some history. Kind. We're gonna say. History. To remember. His yeah. Face. Go history. History is intelligence. intelligence. Yeah, that's not ideal. I can help if need be. Because I can <clears throat> be there and be like, yeah. think. Steve, do you remember what ugly looked like? And that'll be my. Or I can just roll myself. Yeah. Well, let me. Let me think for a moment. I, if I remember correctly... Hey, Lloyd, do you remember what ugly looked like? I might! <laughs> no. It's the last That wasn't at 20, by the way. <laughs> okay. Yes! Well, I remember the shape of his face by the way that the the scent of Damien bounced off of it. Ty is, what is so, wrong with you? Ty is what now is wrong the, with you? Ty has gone to the Femboy. Yeah, yeah go, go to the Femboy. He rolled an at 20. Femboy is in the corner. He, 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 was, he, he rolled said no when it was an at 20. Steve rolled a 21, but at this point... He rolled a 20 and chose to fail. <laughs> okay, yeah, so with your powers combined, you're able to create a pretty good impression of Ugly. Obviously, he doesn't have any, like, color mm -hmm. in terms of, like, because he's just made out of shadows. Oh, God. But in so terms you're going to have to cover him in, like, clothing or something in order to make him look... Conducive. Yeah, I, I was planning but on making this a little bit yeah, yeah, from a distance. Like, put him in the shade like he, like, what, didn't want to be... Like, oh, yeah. what, did it, what, what do we remember that he, like, would wear? In terms of his normal outfit, I remember. Right? I remember what Backstreet Boy looked like. Yeah, particularly his fist oh, in my face and solar plexus. I'm very happy with Backstreet Boy. Um, he has a bright yellow button up with three slashes on each side. I can't. I can't do color. I just want to know what the. You can put yellow into your shadows though. Yes. No, sir. I don't put yellow. It's, a, it's, just, it's just. It's just electricity. It's, it's kind of like a, a button up shirt, jeans, and a pair of glasses. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. All right, so he's like me, like basically a cutout, like a rough draft for later. He's like a business casual stand user. Yeah, is how I'd like to put it. I see. Do you think you can handle that, Donovan? I can absolutely handle this. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. going to prep removing the weight on Blood Rain while I'm on the roof. It's gonna be a few hours. You're gonna be standing there. Okay. For a bit. Okay. You are over there with Rose. I've just touched it. That's all I have to do. Are you just? You're just again in main. What? You're just Ganondorf right now in Smash. I, I, yes, I remember Ganondorf having three shotguns on him. No, that's Ganondorf in an item turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. I love Breath of the Wild. Anyway, um... Breath of the Wild, but Link has a gun. I'm so down for that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Why would that be so quality? What the hell? Donovan just pulled out a gun with like a gunslinger. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I, I can't even replicate it. That was perfect. I can't replicate it either. I, I think, I think, I think <laughs> you've peaked. I think you your inspiration. <laughs> Link with the strap. Uh, perfect. <laughs> anyway, we're getting off topic. Whew. Aside from his new neutral special, um, 
Right. So Damien, you and Rose are on the roof. Uh, Sugar, we're going down swinging, is like lying down on the roof. And it's one of those rooftops that has like the little rays on the top of it. So it's like like, like a little wall, like a foot or two tall, bordering it. Oh, yeah. okay, that's nice. So, you know, you have some space to hide. You know, so cool. it's OSHA suitable. Mm-hmm. We'll count it as half cover if you're kneeling and full color oh. cover if you're lying prone. And when he gets close enough, I can ride the lightning and explode it. If for like a bomb. Okay. If you want oh, to no. I'm not gonna. I'm, I've not made the. I've not made the construct yet. I'm. He's looking for a place. He's. Is the parking garage less than twenty meters away? Because I was planning on hiding in there. It's not a garage. It is just like a regular parking lot, right? No, it's a parking garage. It's a parking there's garage. A parking, there's, a parking garage. garage. there's a lot. There's a lot and a garage. I see. Okay. The garage uh, is more than twenty meters away. <sighs> where is the, where at, at the, the entrance silhouette? to it is? Uh, what about Doctor Smiley's? The billboard is within twenty meters. All right, so um, and it does it does have one of those ladders that allows you to, like climb up and get to it. Well, a stand does not need a ladder. Back and, so back and back is gonna like practice like going up there and like hiding like because he's he is he is still mostly a shadowy figure just with just some yellow on him. Mm-hmm. He's like looking around, just like practicing like opening up the cape for a quick attack, to, like aim to where he's pre- probably going to be walking. Mm-hmm. Donovan's just looking around for good places for himself to hide within five meters of that because. Michael, my ability range is Eight meters, uh, my for adding and removing weight is effective while it's within my range score, right? I'm going to say yes for your ability. For, so 20 for your, No, your intelligence score. Oh, well, that's different. Wait, what? An amount of meters equal to your intelligence score, so 16 meters. Oh, that's dumb. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. My stand ability can... range isn't based on the stand's range. <laughs> Whatever. Let's, yeah. let's say between 6 and it's 20 reasonable meters. It's fine. Some, somewhere on there. All right, can we put the silhouette somewhere within 20 meters of me? Just for no reason. Yes, my silhouettes, do, my, my contracts do not have an effective ring to just go, to disappear whenever it's too sunny, or I just or I make okay. a new construct. And your construct, you do you did find like clothes or something to cover it? No, I, I'm going to shape the con- I'm not just going to make a naked but hold a man and just no, make a naked No, it's just dude. meant to be a silhouette. I don't I, think I made a silhouette with the clothes and all. I'm, it won't be effective up close, but it won't need to be by the time he's close enough. Yes, but the problem with that is that there is still a decent amount of light out. Oh, yeah. That's the problem with it. It's, it's not that it's not convincing enough. It's fine. It's just that it'll slowly disappear and get eaten away by the Which is why I've not made it yet. I want, I want, he wanted to make the construct like just when he was arriving. Okay. okay. Yeah, you can you can prep that. Another thing we should consider is the fact that he does have his fireflies, and what in terms of restraining those, what what is our plan on that? Or like um, finding well, bugs, some way to bugs tend to we be have there. hours, right? And can bu- I make some arcana checks to make sure there aren't any fireflies already here? Because this is a point of interest for them. And bugs this are very would be res- more of a perception check. Bugs okay. are very fla- bugs are very flammable, by the way, and he is a flamethrower. That's. That's Can someone assist really me on a perception check? I will, yes. I'm, sure. I'm, I'm going to say that Rose will because he's standing up there with okay. you. Okay. I wish you help. <laughs> okay, uh, that's 11. Okay. You kind of look around and you don't see any. Steve. Okay, anyone else is free to check their areas. The Steve's roof is clear. I'm going to look around. I guess we're on like the first floor. I'm also uh, on the first back floor. I'm back and blast him now that he is. What's your wisdom? Because uh, I, doesn't ma- I have a proficiency. So basically, it's a plus two because I have a negative one in wisdom. I also have proficiency in. I have plus. Now, one. now you can actually look as well. Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not used to this. <laughs> so I can add one. I can add four to my roll. Oh, then you. Should. Alternatively, then just, all just, of us can look. Yeah, sure. With help, I can serve. I roll, Steve has We no both clue. rolled eleven, so mine's a thirteen. Mine's is a fifteen. Okay, Lloyd, you. Kind of look around and um, you don't see anything. Mm. Okay, good. Because if we did see something, then uh, I don't know what we do about it. Because <laughs> if we kill it, he'll know. But also, does does he have like detached senses through these fireflies? Presumably. Or- because he uses them so if there's the one, city. it doesn't matter. Anyway. Yeah, then everything's up anyway. But then he also would have known that we sent the text, so I don't know. Well, we were were we in the vic- vicinity of the building when we sent it, or were we already like inside? It doesn't it doesn't really it doesn't really matter. matter. We didn't find anything. So 
He basically well, has CCTV. He basically has CCTV. It doesn't matter. Doesn't yeah, keep in mind that he also has a defined range. <coughs> on how far he does, he does have a defined range. I thought yeah, it was he's like... A, he's implied that it's very big. Yes. But it is still a defined range. Right. We also do, we do not know the... Uh, we also do not... We don't know the limits of Tangerine. We need to take him into account. True. He is probably going to be there, too. Because so both I'm, of them, Clementine and Tangerine? No, nah, I've never seen one without the other. We don't Literally. know... We don't really know the extent of Tangerine's ability, though. He can multiply. Well, keep on the lookout for fireflies. Right. He but. seems to be able to... Com- he seems to I'm going to roll a quick history on what exactly he does, because I have an idea, but I want to roll we for Donovan. That's that's gonna that's gonna gonna arcana then Donovan's going to roll a quick arcana, arcana check on whatever his stand is that I've forgotten. I don't think we've seen it much at all. We've seen it, yeah. we've seen it a few times that Donovan has a vague idea, so I'm going to roll for that. Roll okay. disadvantage, but yeah. I think a vague idea is all Well, I am I got to roll for that one. Yep, that's a two. Um, At the very least, it's it's not going to go higher than double. You kind of you kind of think back to it, and you're thinking, you don't know if Tangerine really does exist. Maybe it's a manifestation of fireflies. <laughs> I'm not going to lie; I'm not sure Tangerine exists. Are you sure? I'm, I think he th- we got a lot of money repl- duplicated. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty yeah. sure Tangerine exists. Per- I'm not so well, sure that's about possible, that. But Thank you, Kyler. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm I mean that's Drake. possible. <laughs> there are a lot of fireflies, and there's a lot of money. What if there was just one firefly, and you put a bunch, like you put money? I'm, so I as you, as you kind of go over that idea, you're like, hmm, no, this is a bit sussy. No, they're right, they're right. First of all, killing Michael. Second of all, Steve's also gonna... Michael, put your name back on the sin board. Steve also rolled a two. No, I he hate you all. Steve, you're not the brightest... But you're not Nat one the bright like you, you're like yeah no Donovan that's kind of a dumb idea I don't know where you got it and Donovan is also like yeah that's kind of a dumb idea I don't know where I got it. I so, kind of, but do we have any better ideas? I no. kind I no. kind of want to see if I roll a two on this. Don't anyway, it's not like you three. didn't see <laughs> you didn't see so a dang exactly thing. three higher. You didn't see a dang thing. Anyway, that's true. Time. Yeah, be on the lookout for fireflies. They might precede Clementine. I'll be honest, I didn't see a damn thing about him. I'm gonna go. You're very funny, Damien shouted from two floors away. Okay. Um, so, some time passes. Wait, we should uh, go get close. Oh, wait, we are aiming to kill Clementine, right? It's a little At dark, the right? very least. Didn't we determine that he's just full on not a great person? Yeah, alright. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if it. We don't necessarily want to, but also, like. If it comes to anyone it, anyone who right. plays God and anyone who plays God and decides fate for others in any capacity is not a friend of mine. True. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. if it bleeds, I didn't know Pegasus for that long, but he seemed to, sure he was not a great d- dude, and he did hold Doctor A at gunpoint, and his name I definitely remember didn't mumble. What was his name? Whose name? The guy um, who Doctor A uh, held Doctor A at gunpoint was a vampire. Didn't know about it. Oh yeah. What? I know him. I don't know. I don't I know what you're talking about. Oh, the crap. crap. No, I don't remember that. Vampire. I do. It was a key character moment for Donovan. Of course, I remember that. Yeah, that is... Uh... Yeah, I don't remember his name. That happened... Donovan would remember his name. Donovan. Horde does not. Halen, yes. Horde? No. That was when his mother's stand awakened, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right. Don't My default name. name for someone well, well, anyway. is Chet. Right, right, so, right, right. But right, I know right. it's not Chet. He's from C4. Not super relevant. Also he comes back, and the fact that Michael doesn't remember his name seems to imply to me that he probably won't come back. So he, he died. Well, he died. Oh, so. we killed him. I killed him. I How don't did... remember that. <laughs> he died in the undead. You died in real life. <laughs> we put him out of his... Die, Lloyd. I just want to talk about something real quick. Hmm. So we have determined that this, that these guys, Clementine and Tangerian, aren't the best people. However, what happened last time? Where you just. Sucked them dry. That I don't know, man. That I kind of need to do that to live. Can you do that with other things? With a human, God, it, it just... is weird to see Ty turning to other people to role play this because he can see now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is bizarre. You, Steve, I'm gonna Steve, I'm gonna be. And if you if when you say hello, Frank, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna be frank with you. Hello, hello Frank. I don't oh, even know why I said anything. <laughs> why do I even say anything? Hello, Donovan. I'm not. Donovan, Steve, Donovan, Donovan Halen. Let's go. Donovan Halen. Let's go. Hello, Ruby. Anyways. Hi, Ruby. I almost said hello, Frank. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> <worry>. <laughs> I'm going to be frank with you. If, if <laughs> Just let him say it. Guys, come on. <laughs> no, you don't get to. No. <laughs> I lied. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be yes, you, Steve. If Lloyd was going to be able to... 
kill anyone for nutrients if it may as well be that guy. He's caused enough pain and suffering for others. He may as well get some in return. Right, but there's well, got to be an alternative, he also right? Doesn't oh, he's kind of hunting. Mm, now Donovan wouldn't say that. Donovan wouldn't say that. Donovan not say that. There's got to be an alternative. You. Yeah, we, we, we've, we've tried other alternatives in the past, and more often than not, we end up killing him. May as well expedite the process at this point. He's not a good person, but he is a person. Okay, so... As you guys are having this conversation, Lloyd... What happens, happens. Lloyd, you kind of look over, and you see a little... A little speck kind of flying. Oh, fuck. And you, you think it's weird, because, you know, in, in a climate this wet, you don't think bugs would be able to get out and fly around. Should we have rolled stealth before the fireflies showed up? <laughs> Probably. Can I can I roll to just like catch it? It's flying a distance away from you. Oh, okay. Could you? It's can it's like stealth? over. Hey. Could you tell us? Because if, uh, if, if, hey. if they see us, we lose surprise. Um. Well, I I think well, we can. Lloyd, well, the up? topic of morals is really really uh, just amazing. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> oh yeah, you can look at that. Uh, what are we looking? What are we looking at here? Look at that. You, you you all do see the bug kind of flying. Do I see oh, it from the roof? Should we hide? No, it's down on the first floor. Oh, crap. Okay. Um, oh. Donovan can we tell if it sees us? Donovan immediately rolls best for, we can. Rolls for stealth. I'm centering at the fire. I don't waste time. I roll for stealth. Roll for stealth. Okay, they what, have what sound time. He has, he has full perception. Um, I'm... I mean, there's rubble, either shadows, there's anything. Uh, um, there's not really any rubble, but you could try to... Hide in the shadows. So I'm just trying to dash it. behind literally any form of cover. Okay, roll with disadvantage, but you can do it. I'm going to use master. You know what? That's not that bad. Like flesh, not flesh, but like on the ceiling. If I, if I can roll. All right. Uh, ni- uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah, with yeah, you're pretty well able to conceal yourself. Hey, Hayden. Oh, sorry, Steve. Yeah, who's Hayden? I don't. I don't know any Hayden. Roll. Steve. Well, I, well he what said are, to God. Is, what are you doing? I'm not. Plus Can three. I tell for a certain that? Yes. Can I use precision or is it mm-hmm. okay? Can uh, I, oh, I could use precision. That's a precision as well. That's a dirty twenty. Oh, well, then in that case. Can I tell for yeah. certain yeah. that this thing sees us? So then on, then. You don't know if it's like a regular firefly or what the deal. You just see it kind of flying around. It's flying around within like twenty feet of you guys. Do I so sense any sort of like stand energy coming from it? I, uh, Fireflies don't fly in rain arcana? typically. Or bring the Try to roll for nature. You nature. would not believe your eyes. That's not fantastic. Uh, Twelve. Uh, Steve, you're not exactly sure. You didn't exactly study fireflies or anything. If you had somebody who is an expert on bugs, I'm on the roof, chief. Figure it out. But as it stands, you don't have. Steve, hey, Steve, what, you what are you doing? Okay. Hide. Okay. Well, there's. Um, where am I gonna hide? Okay. The firefly kind of flies over. And it gets clo- it's, it gets closer, and you see that this is in fact a firefly. It like lands- an actual firefly, or you can't tell. It lands on your hand. Well, <laughs> either way, can I sense any sort of sand energy coming from it? <sighs> Would I be able to? You probably wouldn't be able to sense it. You don't know. Hey, Damien, I am on the roof. Mm-hmm. I'm on the ceiling. <laughs> There's two floors. Oh. oh. Hmm. Of the parking garage? No, there's several. We're in, not, the in the building. Oh, in the build. Yes, sorry. How much of the building is left? We never described that. Not a lot. Well, the building itself, the exterior it looks fine. It's the underground portion that we blew the hell up. Most of the floor on the first floor is collapsed. Okay. Sorry, no, you would be able to hide in the rubble. Yeah. It, okay, that's what we were saying. Building. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you were in the parking garage. I don't know what I mean. Right. Yeah, you're on oh, the outside. Well, in that case, I'm just, I didn't go to the ceiling because you, you just pop know. in the pit. It'll be fine. <laughs> 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 Steve looks at the firefly, and he's gonna once again reach down, and uh, I would assume there's like rubble on the ground from where things have exploded, and just switch the actual sight of this firefly that's currently in his hand with the pebble, put it under his foot, and crush it so it's a sec- effectively blind. You see it kind of wiggles around and then starts to get up and fly, and then it then it careens downwards and. All right, if that was Clementine's firefly, we have just effectively done. Uh, what they do in the movies where they knock out a camera at a place that they're trying to infiltrate so they know that something's up but not what. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Steve also got close enough to do that though, keep in mind. Yeah. What? Steve, you got close enough to... Well, well Steve didn't get close enough. It got so if that was Cle- one of Clementine's fireflies, he knows we're here. Yeah. Or at least that you're here. If it is one of Clementine's fireflies. 
So, uh, before more show up, maybe hide. <laughs> yeah, okay. Steve is going to take the incentive do on you, that and go ahead and hide. Do you only have a pager? Yes. Wait, let me check. Did I grab a cell phone at some point? You might have a cell phone from the... No. Is there, if I did, did, no, is there a pager them. app? Well, I mean, you can probably text you can, one. You can contact him. Oh. So, I, I guess I do. Do I have a phone now, or is that the Google phone? Didn't you also get a pager? That was a cool phone, yes, yeah. he, has, he has both. I don't have a phone. I have a oh. phone and a pager. He has yes. a phone and a pager, Donovan. Okay. Uh, that is sixteen to hide uh, on the first floor. You can use precision if you want. Oh, I didn't realize. Uh, you know how I said that's sixteen? That is actually um, quick math. Twenty-three. That's a little better. Yeah, yep. you're able to hide effectively. Okay, we do a little trolling and hide. The bug is kind of like. Searching around, trying to do stuff, but it is completely blind. This is not ideal. Um, damn, I can't believe you swap senses between me and the bug. All right, I'm gonna try to get to. Blind. I'm gonna try to get to Damien. Relay this to him. Wait, where's Rose? Oh, he's also he's Rose. On the so roof. you're trying to stealthily yeah. get onto the roof. Yeah. Okay. Roll perception. <laughs> okay. Would that be passive perception? Instead? Eighteen. We're just saying no. Eighteen. Okay. You look around and you see that a bug has landed on Rose's back. Oh, this is my right. Okay. Why didn't I get to roll for that? You already rolled perception. When? Sure. Uh, go ahead and roll now. Okay. He rolled perception when he was looking for Firefly specifically. So wait, did I just get on the roof then? I was I just allowed to get on the roof? Yeah. Oh. Well, there's uh, the stairs. Uh, 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 oh. Seven. So probably not. Yeah, Hmm. So Donovan is going to stare at this firefly, and... Donovan, you're on the roof? Yes, and okay, he's, and so he's, wonder, just, and he's wondering what he can do. He's looking around. Rose he's, turns around. Oh, hey. Everything good down there? He's going to hold up a finger to his mouth like shushing because there are no cameras here. And then... Uh, da- Damien looks at Donovan and goes, Oh, hey, Donovan! <laughs> so, sorry. Uh, and, and then, quiet. <laughs> and then he's going to point to... And then he's going to mouth as best he can. Rose is back. Go ahead and try to uh, go ahead and try to roll to communicate. That's gonna be I can't read. Charisma? Intelligence, I would say, probably. Roll sleight of hand using charisma. Oh. 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 Gosh. Oh. That's brilliant. That's actually uh, unnatural twenty. Okay, you're able to relay the information effectively. Am I able to understand it? Yes, you're able. Oh, okay, that's great. You get you get the general gist of something's on Rose's back, and you look over and see that it is a firefly. Damien grins and gives Rose a very meaty clap on the back. Uh, kills it instantly. Now that could be Damien literally then anything. looks at his hand and sheds a small tear. <laughs> the death of a bug. The bug. Um, also, he's going to roll Arcana to see if it is or nature to see if it's a regular bug or not. I'm proficient in both, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Is that a regular bugger? I'm going to say that you're not able to tell because it's dead. If you were able to observe its behavior and like its patterns, that'd be cool. Uh, it's good. It was a stand it would have dissipated when it died, wouldn't it? They, it's an enhancement high of style. Sorry, we sorry, decided no. it was an actual okay. firefly. It just enhances. Great. Yeah. So you did actually kill a bug Wait, there. With you the, don't know if the bug was enhanced or not. With the one that I blinded, it, it, it's blind, but I would assume it's still like... Oh, it's still around, yeah. Can I deduce anything from the way it's acting? That's the second one we've seen so far. Um... Yeah, go ahead and roll nature. Uh, Damien, if you want to go downstairs and try to help with that, too. I Steve like is pretty sure this is a ladybug. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're like, guys, I don't think this is a firefly. And then you look at it and you're like, wait, no. I'm dumb. Piss. <laughs> <laughs> really? Gerotti! Dear body! Gerotti! All right. Um, so we're going to wait for Donovan to get back. Uh, any any fun stories anybody wants to tell? Well, I took a shower earlier. I have eyesight. All right, so a string walks into a bar. The bartender right, says the we're over. kind here. So the, the string walks out, not to tell the place. Ties some loose ends and walks back in. The bartender says, hey, aren't you the string I just kicked out a moment ago? And the string says, no, I'm afraid not. Well, the bartender's a little... POV, die. Oh, <laughs> Uh, Kyler almost castrated Donovan. Donovan right <laughs> became Michael Jackson. I succeeded, I succeeded the deck save. He did succeed the deck save. He Michael the most. That was a save. You that, was an acro- that was an acrobatics check. He failed wasn't. the charisma save. That's what happened. Oh god. All right. I did not feel anything. That's my. Un- that's my. Uh... 
That's now my advantage on all checks, evolving this downward area. Anyway, we're moving on. So it's also immunity to force damage, by the way. You're not really able to determine anything else from the bug. Don, when I see you go back downstairs and hide. Yeah. Guys, I think this is a bug. Steve Shh. doesn't say because he's being quiet. Okay. So after some time, you all see a car roll in, and you recognize it as Clementine's car. Sick. We, I assume we have the silhouette in place. Yeah, at this point, Donovan has said, screw it, place the silhouette. He's hidden, and he's, Damien, gonna, and he's gonna, as stealthily as possible, like make back and black go up to the uh, the billboard. I'm gonna roll stealth on that. Okay. Damien's, Why didn't you roll three dice? Don't worry about it. Damien is stealthily looking over the lip of the uh, Oh, it's pretty good, actually. ...to see uh, Clementine's position. All right, so that's going to be 26 for stealth to get back and black up to that uh, building. Do I need to roll for that? I wouldn't. Twenty-six yourself for back and black to go up to the. Oh yeah, yeah, you're able to get up there. It literally just looks like a shadow. Like if it mm -hmm. went across your vision, what do you thought? Like one of those like little dusties. Yeah. It is Clementine's car. The lights are on. What were you talking about? Do What's I that? need to roll for stealth? I would assume they wouldn't really be looking up at the roof. But uh, well, if you're lying, so. I'm lying down, but peeking over just slightly. Okay, yeah, you you, you don't need to roll. Stealth okay, for that. you're fine. Cool. Steve is using. Um, he's hiding against like the front wall towards well, the wall towards where the parking lot is. Uh kind of against the wall, and he's keeping Act 2, like, close to him, but peeking out of the wall just far enough to see what's going on. And Lloyd? <sighs> True. Can I see the silhouette? The silhouette of, uh... Ugly. Ugly, yes. Okay. Lloyd, Lloyd has a Master of Puppets ready on the ceiling above Ugly, mm -hmm. and he is hiding in the rubble, peeking, waiting for the... Wait for a moment to grapple. Where I, is Ugly located again? Is it the doorway or is it in the bar billboard? Uh, back and blast at the billboard. Ugly is going to be like in the doorway where every candidate is shadowy and where it looks like he's just standing there and he looks just like a silhouette. Like yes, he's you can have Master Pups there. All right, cool. I would like to prep an action for when Clementine gets close enough to inspect the Ugly silhouette. Okay. Should I, pre should I prep by the lighting or a range attack? So. Uh, no. Up to you. Ride the Lightning would have a better chance of hitting. So, uh, those who can see, which is now everybody, actually. And um, Act 2 is preparing attack. a reaction as well. Mm -hmm. Oh. You notice that all of the doors of the car open. Okay. Just um, sister? Oh, boy. <laughs> Molly Hatchet would screw. Molly Hatchet? She is not. Nate be like... Step on me. I apologize. Dice. Sorry, continue, Michael. She used bullet punch. It's a damn shame I was, I was a rock type. Can so. I call you on that? <laughs> on this? If you Later, we're about to die. Can we do it in a cool fashion and so not while he's you doing that? So you see five figures come out of the car. Oh, five? Okay. Five figures come out of the car. And let me describe them all five to you. Five finger death punch? We Two might. of them we appear might. to be... Not stand users, as far as you can see. Mm -hmm. They nice. come out of the car, oh, free and, but they also don't look like any other humans that you've ever seen before. They don't appear to be undead. They don't appear to be human. They appear to be something else. Mm -hmm. The stand user could be anyone except free. for those three people. Free food. <laughs> uh, two, two, two people. They might not even be blood. Uh, they might um, be something completely different. Huh. So they're they the are humanoid. But they seem really, like, raw and kind of incorrect. So it's, like, the basic shape of a person, ah. but it's less refined. Like, where there would normally be kind of this smooth curve, very refined, it's very, like, blocky. And Is this that rock the part thing one that I don't know about? Polygonal. The part uh, no. one characters. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Did someone say my name? Of, that's kind of the vibe you get, actually. They're very, they're, like, really wide, really big, uh, huge shoulders, that kind of thing. Um, they don't appear to have any facial features whatsoever. Some mall right. turns. Uh, no face. Slenderman? No facial features. Uh, they thick men? they be thick men. They are flesh colored, uh, kind of like a, a more brown flesh color, and flesh they're not wearing any clothing, and it's just smooth, featureless, genital humanoid shape. So they, so they don't Could have they be stands? I have that genitalia. No, they wouldn't no, have opened the car door. Dang it. Um, Steve does not say that. That's they're not. Saying. They're not, like... Pretty either like some of their limbs are like oh like one of their one of their arms is a bit longer than the other one things like that. Is one uh, of them long Mario? Uh, one of them is I would, not long Mario. I like this. I How about wide wall stuff for this bit? There is one that looks kind of like a wide wall Luigi. Yes. Okay. Never fair. mind. <laughs> Just on that though. No. Steve so. Sankin. <laughs> Those two come out. You see on the driver's side door, you see. 
a tall young man with a skinny build. He looks kind of Middle Eastern. Uh, he has short curly hair and he wears an orange clergy robe with yellow crosses on the front and the back of his robes. He's also wearing a yellow sash with dust to dust, dust to dust, ashes to ashes, written on it over and over again around the sash. Great. Um, okay, Master Puppet is not touching that one. Next you see, um, out of the front side driver's door, a tan woman of pretty muscular build and average height. Still she wears holding. white bandages around her chest like a tube top. Uh, she is also wearing half of a red long sleeve shirt on her left half. And she wears black skinny jeans with holes at the knees. She has unkempt, long, black, curly hair. Please step on me, Mommy. Oh, God, please. Hey, next we get to the <laughs> third person, the I one who comes out of the back right we're, door. We're gonna die. We're just gonna die. A pale, middle-aged person of unclear gender, muscular build, wearing a white ushanka, which is like the Russian Soviet yes. helmet, um, on their head, a long-sleeved white sweater with white jeans, uh, and the jeans have vertical yellow stripes on them. They also are wearing a yellow hoodie that's wrapped around their waist. Is Clementine there? Clementine does not appear to be there. Evidently not. Cool. Well, well I'm glad we're well, about to fight. So we're... Mm. I, if those were just real-ass fireflies... Oh. It's anyway. raining, they're fireflies. Damien's gonna be really sad. If Clementine knows we're here, this is the cleanup duty. <laughs> cleanup duty? Well, but those... Wait, how long ago were those fireflies that we saw before these guys... There could have been more, and we're just... Blind. It was just a couple minutes. Okay, so it probably he probably he wouldn't have sent this in response to us. This is just what Why he sent not? out. Why not? Because it's only been a couple minutes. I have a stain in my campaign called Coyote Kisses, who literally can teleport because he bends reality. I wouldn't be surprised. This is a being... car. <laughs> he did it to a tank. <laughs> he he carpooled here. He did it to a tank full of people. He can oh. vary. Okay, that's terrifying. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, I you, don't you think you that's what's happened that. here. All right, tangerine. Do like holds five Teslas in a single one. Pantry <laughs> <laughs> could clown car it up. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna die. The man wearing the clergy robes comes out and he looks up at the building in general and kinda looks over at the Agent Ugly silhouette. And he kind of smiles and looks over. Alright. Come out, you all. I know you're all in there. That's no fun. Bruh. Steve does nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna move. Lloyd doesn't trust religion. <sighs> all right. Go in, boys. And you see the two misshapen figures start to walk inside yeah. of the building. Does that trigger my action? Or does that trigger my reaction as well? You all can get a surprise round if you want to roll initiative. <sighs> okay. Awesome. Initiative well, time. Here it goes. And I'm also gonna use my oh, rage attack three. reaction. Oh, that's three. not fantastic. Should we Rick, surprise attack first or that or initiative first? So everybody gets their surprise round before initiative. Okay, uh, who wants to go I first? Have a lot I'm to considering I'm on the ground floor, like yeah. right next to the entrance. I probably. Would. I have a ranged attack. I would like to do that. Okay, fair enough. All right, rolling that ranged attack. Well, don't you have to roll initiative first? No. You send me that, and I'm gonna use a point of inspiration because I want this to hit. I want to do something useful. All right. So, my initiative is okay. 22. Based. Uh, plus 9 to initiative tends to do a lot. And it's going to be 22 for Lloyd. For Steve. Uh, that is 10 for Steve. And F for Damien. 16. Oh, I also want a 16. Go ahead and pick which one you want to go first. You're doing your surprise first. Okay, yeah, I'll go first. Three of us have reactions, don't we? Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> and also, do you want me to all of, I already I think all of us. Should I, yeah. What should I do for my hit? I already just used inspiration to re-roll it and I have my... Well, like we have prepared flesh guys. Don't, yeah. don't use your inspiration. Wait to roll until I Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, Kyler, let us know. Oh, I'm for... ready. Can we oh, do okay, combat cool. now, please? Welcome back to African Warlords and Child Labor. So, uh, hey, that's the name of my D&D spinoff. Sorry, I'm going to hit a flesh golem. Yeah. Can I go what? Who's going first? Donovan, then me, then him, then me. Well, he, you're a grapple. We're walking in the door. Let's let him go first, okay. and then me. Okay. Uh, so you're just going for him to grapple them? Uh, one of them, at least. Go ahead and roll. Bet. Use acrobatics, of course. Ah, uh, precision. I mean, yes. Sorry, use precision. 
Well, this. Okay, so I am. Damn it, I keep playing I have expertise without putting in your hat afterwards. Hmm? I have expertise in athletics, so that applied to my skills. Yes, it does. Okay. Your skill checks you make also apply to your skills. Actually, I'm going to use a point of inspiration. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> that was a nat one. That was a quick. <laughs> Imagine not having struggle block. You just started. <laughs> it was a one! He's still getting used to those eyes. I'm <laughs> going to kill you. Hey, come here. I'm not calling my dog anything. Also, I can still smell. It's better. It's better. That sucks. Okay. You can add a lot to it. 5 plus 6. So that's 11. Uh, they have to be a 21. No. <coughs> They're both 11. Oh. Nice. Um, or one of them does. So it. it's, it's like a horror film where you have these these creatures walking in. And then suddenly they're just... As one of them just gets... Hold up. It's like it's like an alien isolation when the alien and just pulls you up into the vent. It's that. Or Fireman PS4 when you're stealthy and you just Yeah, you just straight up grab him and pull him up. So you've grappled him and they they're like kind of pulling away, but they don't seem to be very strong. Nice. He's he's still walking even though he's suspended. So they're not stands necessarily. They don't have, They don't have You're fear. not sure. Not sure. Okay, not At the very least they're not very There might be some terrible chimera. Range attack time. Okay, go ahead. Uh, you trying to hit the, the, the other one? Yes. Or the one that he's back. The other one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Go for that. I actually still might hit that. No one. Why you gotta be such a... Uh, 19. Yep, that hits. Alright, you got that. Alright, Wendy's. And you're shooting at... The, the other one, the one that was not um, stolen. What do they call it? Alright, so that is a... Okay. Riveting game. How, how many roll, dice rolls for this? How, how does it scale? What? What? How, does, how, does, how does a range attack scale again? It doesn't scale. You just roll one d8, and you add your wait. Your, which which one do you have? Do you have the more precise one. The more precise. It scales by adding speed to it. If it's oh the, yeah, yeah. If it's the most precise one, it's just a d6. Is yeah. The most precise one. So you add your precision wait. twice to the attack roll. Yes, 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 yes. So it's a d6 plus your speed modifier. Okay, that's eight. Okay. Uh, it takes it all. So he. Chance. That might be damage resistance, but still, it's gone. Uh, so yeah, from the uh, billboard, back in black, opens up its jacket as a couple, as I guess, other a uh, one umbrella for damage, as eight umbrellas. <laughs> um, um, Steve, I'm actually going to allow you to go. Okay, sounds uh, good. Flash out and all impale into him for piercing damage. Uh, and uh, he just kind of keeps moving. You see that a liquid comes out of him that's not blood. It appears to be the same color as the flesh tone. I want to. I don't like this. Like mm. Yeah, I don't like that. All the way. For this, for that, this definitely seems like a standard. Really. <laughs> for that first attack, did it look like when it didn't seem to pierce its arm or whatever? Was it like just uh, its flesh and it like had some sort of scar flesh, or it was like some no, sort it, of? No, it hit and dealt damage. It's oh, okay. it's like it appears to be bleeding, but its blood appears to be that same kind of. Okay. Huh. Yeah, they they it's... didn't even the other ones are not too they? Is the second Is time? He? Hey, get out of there. Like Probably in the trash can. I heard. No, I, no, I just need to say it again. That's some other point. Is come through sus. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm doing my attack then. So, as best I can tell, do these th these things? They don't have eyes. Do they have ears? Or no. He said they have no facial features. No so facial features. I don't know how they like sense or if they do sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. In that case, they do. They do. Know. you could try to make a check for it. Am I still hidden? I will add. Yes. <laughs> you can roll insight if you want, or you can roll on. Aren't those both intelligence? No, can I roll it? Oh. Would investigation work, or no? Yeah. You could roll it, but I'd give you this Okay, no. Uh, I'll go for Arcana then. Okay. Alright. Ah. Nope. You're not really uh, However, I will use my bonus action to stay hidden. Okay, so that's, that's like it. only broke whenever it came out of So Do I need to roll for that, or can I just... That would be bad. Um, Alright, Izzy, we're gonna... You roll yourself. Here. I want you to get out of here now. Izzy, come on. Okay, uh, Damien, your okay. surprise round. So, it's fairly... I, I think it's it's uh, fair, fair to say that uh, our friends who've just come out of the car are pretty distracted with what's going on in the in, in, at the front of the building. They've sent these guys in. One of them got yanked 
and I'm probably watching how it goes on. So there was there wasn't any noise either. It wasn't like a ah. It was just a yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're probably like huh. So all that's happening. <laughs> he glitched into the skybox. Damien's already removed all the weight from Blood Rain, so he's just gonna push it out of the uh, over the edge, and it is very slowly going to just hover over to above whoever's furthest out from the car, but still standing there and just watching. Uh, that would be the just above them. man in the ropes. Yes. In the ropes. Um, and then he's just going to deactivate his ability and drop it. Yeah, drop it. Okay. Worst case good. scenario, he hits the car and they definitely can't get away. Um, let's see. Does he notice that? Uh, so that is 20 feet in the air. Okay. Yeah, he definitely notices that. <laughs> um, oh, shoot. But he kind of oh. looks down and it's above two stories. So he's make... Oh god, what would he's gonna make a deck save in response to this. Okay. That would, would make sense. Yeah. I'm gonna make a concert and just buff it out. Against what? The sword falling? Well uh, I mean what uh, like what's the DC of the deck save? Um I don't know, like fifteen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee he will make a sixteen. Oh, sorry. Okay. So he looks over and he, he he sees the sword coming down at him and he says <sighs> When God first created man, he made it out of mud. He puts his hand out, he pulls it to his side, and pulls out his stand, which appears to be a long sword. Um, it is a long sword uh, with each side of it, instead of it being like the sides of a hilt where you normally have like gems, you can see two bacterial phages, uh, like the virus designs, with the heads oh. coming from the hilt of the sword. So you see they're like arms that are like reaching out and kind of oh. pulling. Um, and he looks up at the sword, and he puts it down, and <laughs> slashes it away. And so Blood Rain <laughs> hits the wall. Is that the name of the screen when God first created a man? Did that take my entire action round? Uh, he does take half damage, though, still. Oh, so okay. So go ahead and roll, that, uh, that roll hurt. what you would roll with <laughs> OK Go, and then add an additional... With OK Go? Yeah, like if you use your power. Add your power to that, since you... Okay. What? Hold on. It's more damage. So Just go it's four d six. Okay. So adding adding power on. Uh, actually, no. Wait. Sorry. Don't add any power. Roll eight d six. Okay. So we're gonna count it as because of the gravity. Oh, yeah, yeah. Count it as an additional two d six plus. Well, Blood Rain usually does four d six. So would it be six d six? Eight d six total. Eight d six. Okay. Because it also falls two stories. Right. Okay. Cool. Let me back in there. Oh my God! I'm gonna have to. Right, give me a second. So he does take half damage because he like it's a lot of effort for him to slash with this, and like it, you see it kind of catches him on the way. But you are you can deal some damage. Could you imagine using a melee weapon? <laughs> this comes from the fire game. This, this comes so he strokes his bat. Why would you say that? I don't know why he did it like okay. that. But master puppets, Hawkman. Um, he'll take a. Uh... He'll take 16 damage. You've already had it? Yes. Cool. He'll take 16 uh, slashing damage. Wait, I didn't add my strength. Do I add strength? Don't add your strength for this. Oh, don't add Because you didn't swing it. I normally would have Okay, that makes sense. Well, you just dropped it on. Yeah, 16. I, I already added 46 for the right. gravity. <laughs> um, yeah, so you see he does take a little bit of damage. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We so wanted to do that. Was now, that my entire turn? That was, this is the surprise round. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, and then Rose kind of looks down and he doesn't really have anything that he knows what to do. So he's just gonna rip off, like, part of the wall. And uh, Sugar would go down swing and just poof, puts it over uh, oh, his shoulder. Oh. So now we're starting at the top of the initiative order. Oh, okay. So the one in the Ushanka, uh, oh, the one oh. of the unclear gender. The what? Uh, the one in the Ushanka. Ushanka. Rub the the hat, the right, right. Hat. Yeah. Um. They look up and they see uh, kind of what happened inside, and they're going to try to sprint to get inside. So they're going to take the dash action, and they're going to get inside of the uh, into the doorway. I am hidden. Can I? Yes. I'm also hidden. Can I? I? I'm going to try to. They're going to try to search. For you. I'm desperately yeah. when you can lose the reactor lighting. You just ice them. Go. You know, in hindsight, we could have. We could have baited them all to go inside. We could have baited them all inside the building and then just demolished the thing. 
That would have worked. They, However, um, please get out of the way. They're all on the way light, into like the three building. Fools. Well, but you <laughs> guys are also in the building. <laughs> I just yeah. like go oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to just drop him? Yeah. Yeah, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Just just honor. Do you want to? Yeah, go ahead. Or There's on, a big pit there, yeah. On, on yeah. them. Well, because oh. they're going through the doorway. I just... That's good. <laughs> I'm going to say that counts as... Uh, I don't know, it's probably going to wait. We're going to say... 5d6. 5d6? 5d6 damage, they're going to have to make a dex save. Oh, with the improvised damage. Seven. You're being generous with damage dice, that makes me worried. Well, <laughs> you guys are at a pretty high level. 14. Or pretty high by two. Mm-hmm. That's, so 14 on a full hit, 7 on a half hit. Okay, what's your stand DC? My stand DC, that would be 8. No, 8 plus preservation. Place on your character DC. So that's 11, <laughs> 11 plus uh, my precision. No, plus your crit. My charisma, that's right. Which is 18. Okay, yeah, they take full damage. 14. Uh, they try to jump out of the way, but it's too, it's too quick for them. Boom. <laughs> so it like catches them on the shoulder and kind of knocks them over. So go ahead and roll the damage for that. I did. What's the damage? 14. 14. Yeah, they take it all. Uh, is the good news. The bad news is... Uh, you hit them. They're a revenge tiger. Uh, you hit them, and after this, they kind of growl as this shape appears Oops. behind them. Uh, it is a lanky, skin-colored humanoid stand. It is made of a material that kind of looks like wool. Uh, rather than eyes, you see two black beads sit where the eyes would be. I hate this. The mouth is made of several one. red buttons, like, uh, like tiny red buttons. I hate this. I like However, the hands appear to be just skeletal human hands. So there's a bunch of wool, and then it disappears as these skeletal human hands come out of it. Uh, I uh, yeah, it I, think, wears, I think Caroline. It wears a white cloak that covers uh, the shoulders and torso and goes down to the knees. Hmm. Cool. Sounds good. Um, and you can see them kind of... <coughs> karma. So, that's their turn. Nice. Boy. Oh, it's my turn now? It's your turn. Oh, that's cool. Um... I'm gonna grapple the user. You're gonna try to grapple the user? Mm-hmm. With Master Pilots? Ah! Go ahead and roll. What was that? Uh, maybe. Hey, Lloyd grappling somebody? I have, I have an them. area of effect Hamon-based attack that could get all of them. You know, there are other enemies that we could be attacking, but this one's currently... Mine. Yeah, but the silhouette is in, in, in the doorway. It also, You're right, it also I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going You should get out of the doorway. <laughs> I'm not in the doorway. Like, he's on the ceiling. Master Puppets is, though, and it's yeah. one of the main damage. Yeah, I'm going to dispel Master Puppets. Okay, so you completely pop away and bring it back to you. Well, it has to move back to you before you dispel it. Yeah, and then I'm going to uh, cast Hawkman. Okay, pull it out. Yeah. And then I'm going to fire twice because I got two bullets. Top two bullets, go ahead. So that's going to be 10 this plus proficiency, so that's going to be 13. <laughs> what a great and idea. the precision because it's Hawk Moon, mm-hmm. so that's going to be 23 to hit. 23 to hit, that is the stand. Hoggers. Oh it, comes, it comes forward and the skeleton and catches it. 3d4 piercing. Steve would like to come as a free action. <laughs> Uh, okay, oh, first oh, off, that is a bonus <laughs> action. <laughs> you are in the building as well. Uh, <laughs> Steve, Steve just sees it and he's like, huh. <laughs> oh, I hope Why on range. earth? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I don't so, know. what damage did you roll? I want to know how you pass up a, 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 that as a free action. <laughs> I want. I want. I want to know someone. how quickly this conversation is going the to stop. The damage is 3d4 plus precision. <laughs> yep. Uh, 16. There's uh, no build up or anything you have to do. It just happens. happens. Yeah, it's strong. Uh, yeah, you see it catches the bullet. Fine. It, like, like, not in like block stand projectile catches the bullet, but it catches the bullet and like prevents it from actually getting it. Yeah. Durability. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to hit it again. Go ahead. Roll it. Ooh, this is going to hit the stand. If uh, if it meets the hold on, what did you roll? Right, uh, nineteen to hit. That actually misses entirely. What? This is why I asked. Uh, you wow. see, they, well, I said that if it hits. Right. This is why you I see, they duck down. 
knocks the bowl out of the way. So, well, that's that. two shots, which means I'm out in the open, baby. Okay. Cool. And, yeah, so you have exposed yourself um, for your location, and you right. see the creature kind of, or the stand, it takes the buttons, points at you. Right, so, now I'm going to take my Kai River action. Okay, uh, you can go up the stairs, what's your plan? Uh, stairs kind of fun. Okay, it is difficult terrain to get across kind of a collapsed pit area. Right. Uh, so I'm gonna say you can get, like, to the edge of the pit. Okay. Okay, there's that. Okay! So, now, you see... Oh, wait, I should also add slippery because I'm... Because you're in a bird attack, yes. Okay. Oh, they're, they're doing... So, you see the tan muscle with, like, the half the shirt, uh, cut down the middle. Please step on. Oh, um, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> dude. Point on main, This would never happen. <laughs> yeah, you'd think so. Okay, well, what, what they're going to do is they look up at the building. You can see it, and they're looking around. Um, and they are going to use Stanley. And they psh, oh. break through and get up onto the roof of the first story building. Well, Who is this doing Wait, this? what? It's uh, built, uh, the, the curly haired woman. The, 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 right. They're, the they're going where? Curly haired woman. Top there. of the building. They're using Stanley. Oh, okay, so on top of the second floor where we no, are? on top of the first floor. Oh, oh they're going to stand here again to get us. up to where you are. Oh, okay. Great. Um, and that's their movie action. So Ooh, they're going to again. look over. And you see her stand. Uh, this stand is a tall, muscular stand that appears to be completely soaked in a thick liquid. The liquid moves and looks like TV static. It occasionally drips and falls onto the ground and then fades away after a short time. There are two coal black hands that come out of the stand's back and the fingers cover where the stand's eye should be. So you uh, got, you got that one. You killed the rapist? You got you got that one motherfucker from Labyrinth, and then we've also got the other one. Right? You see. Um, the stand kind of points over Dogma. It was kind of a, of a big inspiration for this. Uh, but you see her say, fade in, fade out. Ooh. And we're going to roll for that. Uh, she's hit, trying to hit Damien. That's a 21 to hit. Okay. Um, yeah, that's going to beat my, my tower shield, which I totally had on my back. Okay. Because I'm laying cool. down. So that hits you directly? Yes, it hits me directly. Okay. Um, Wait. So... No, I'd have OK go out. So yeah. it hit my stand. Okay, cool. yeah. it hits a chance. So Okeko okay, kind of takes it and it hits Okeko's okay, hand. And you see the arm actually kind of turn into that same kind of TV static texture. You see it kind of corrupts and goes down. And oh. this happens with both Damien's hand and Okeko's okay, hand. We get tainted hand. Damien? Oh, oh, I don't like that. Uh, so but it's kind of cool. That's right. Really cool. Make sure you write down that you have some sort of like TV static thing on there. Okay. And she's going to try to do the same thing with Rose. Uh, and that's definitely going to hit. Rose takes. Um, you don't take any damage from it. What would tainted Damien be able to do? What does tainted mean? Tainted. It's a bad kind of Isaac. Isaac and his dream. So, Isaac and his Isaac lived in an Isaac. Don't even, you just I have now. never heard a quick succession of words that have made me hate all of you more than the last. I really doubt minute. that. I really doubt that. He said the word taint and I went to wrap my hand around his throat <laughs> and kill him. That's a pretty frequent occurrence, actually. Yes! Yeah. yeah. So, it's not, it's not, uh, <laughs> remember that time we all interrupted Donovan because it was funny? <laughs> that was yeah, the, I remember the that. most. That was really funny. No, it was not. That was, <laughs> was the most. I think it was hilarious. The most infuriating no, really thing funny. of my life. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to do it again. <laughs> Homeboy. Gas, <laughs> gaslighting is not a word, you made it up. Oh, okay. Oh, this is true. <laughs> yeah. Alright, yeah, thank yeah, you. We're, uh, we're not going. Okay. I'm sorry. Gaslighting <laughs> is already on fire, homeboy. I'm not, I'm not real. Oh, no. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so, you and Rose have both been inflicted with goop. Uh, and you TV guys goop. both have your kind of hands covered. Look, I'm on TV! Wait, this weird TV's on me. Yeah, <laughs> oh, this would never happen. It's a weird TV static looking thing. I just wrote down static hand. That's pretty <laughs> accurate. My arm fell asleep. Who the Neil's a bitch? No, oh, I hate it. The return it. of LaCroix. I feel hate. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna assume punch with that hand. I, I just feel like. He drank too much idea. of that. Yeah, it's the LaCroix stand. 
So... Oh, fight! Baller standing. This okay. is actually what happens to you if you drink that look, Roy. That, oh, no, he's getting a uh, third-party object. Cups? This is frightening. Where is... I just need a pencil. Can I borrow a pencil? No. no uh, pencil. where's you the guys bag? Are <laughs> <laughs> where's the bag? Yeah. Michael <laughs> has it, but I think we took all the pencils out of it. I did you did sick. take all the pencils out of it. That was sick. I have to write this down. How many pencils were in there? I don't know, a few. We took them all. Okay. So, this is my pencil she's gonna I look lost. over at Damien, she's gonna walk over, and just try to clock him. Okay. So, that's, that's a roll. That's clock. the third attack, at least. Yep, third attack. Uh, so that is going to be a 25 to hit. That's gonna hit him directly. Okay. Oh. okay. That is 14 stand bludgeoning. Not ideal. So, a direct hit. Okay. Uh, so, but she's right next to you and Rose both. Oh, good. Donovan. You are dead. It is your turn. Right. Where is Steve again? I'm on the first floor, like, uh, so... How are if you there's a wall or... and then the parking lot, I'm on, like, this side. So I guess, are like, right near when people me? come in. Because if I, I, if I use an AoE thing and if you're in the blast, that sucks, kiddo. I'm not I'm not right next to the entrance. I'm, like, a are good way to the, the what? Are you in the pit? The rubble pit. Like, the rubble? I thought you were. I thought that was on the first floor. It is on yes. the first floor. If you're down there, I'll say it at least gives you... I'll, I, I'll say that's full cover. Yeah, you're okay. fine. Okay. You can detonate without that word. Got it. So, <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is, as an attack, I'm activating Ride the Lightning, which will hit both of the fel- both of the homies the and homies. the Russian. Where are the homies again? The homies are in the beginning of the place. They're in Paris, you're correct answer. The first one rolled a 17 on the deck save. I don't know the DC. 8 plus Constitution plus Proficiency. It's a homo DC. Oh, yeah. Eight. Actually, yeah, that's homo. Eight plus con plus proficiency. Mm -hmm. Thirteen is the DC. Okay, so the first one succeeds. The second one fails, and the stand user. What do I add to this? Do I add anything? Or is this just? Oh no, it's a damage ability. It's a damaging ability. It's a straight damage. And I assume this is complete damage. This is yeah. This is like modern darkness. Decent. Decent. That's still that's still solid. That's a decent amount of damage. Uh, that, that, <laughs> that's a level one fireball. I can handle that. I did it. You did it. Yeah, this the stand user succeeds. Got it. But well, the two, two flushy boys fail. Got it. So we're gonna roll damage on that. That's eh, alright. So it's nine damage. Okay. So you hit the damage one pretty mm -hmm. hard. Uh, and it does half to the one he succeeded, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. And so then the next thing I'm gonna do is have my I have my rapier out. I run up to one of the flesh guys and then I'm gonna attack him. Sounds good. Except. And that's not funny. Uh, and then my stand is not here, so it is just straight decks. But it's I'm, just. It's just. Uh, All right, so I'm gonna roll a hit, just normal stats. Probably and, school food. Oh, shit, that that was was you, so you're running up to hit. Yeah. Uh, one, one of the one of the flesh. One of the flesh guys. The clay is even. Do you want to hit the more damage one or the less damage one? Uh, I'll hit the more. I'll hit the more damage one. Okay. Yes. That's annoying. Nine. Nope. Doesn't hit. So I miss, and then I use slippery to disengage out the door. So you disengage and hit. Damn it. Damn it. So you're able to get out the door a little bit. Uh, they can't really take a swing because you're disengaging. Okay. That's done. And Damien, we'll get to your turn in the next episode. Oh, okay, you had a huge concern there. I'm sus.